We begin with a blank Microsoft Word document, which is the standard software for submitting your written assignments at this school. First, let's make sure you're in the Print Layout view. We do that up at the View tab on Word's top menu. Click on View and pull down to Print Layout and click. The Print Layout view gives you the best representation of how your final paper is going to look in terms of its margins, indentions, page breaks, and so forth. Also, let's adjust our zoom to 100% so that we can get a good look at both edges of the paper, left and right, as we work. 100% is also how your professors usually want you to save and submit your documents. Another little trick that you might need, the Hide Show white space tool. Has this ever happened to you? Your margin at the top and between the pages disappears and you don't know why? This happens because of the Show Hide white space tool. It toggles back and forth. Okay, let's start at the left of Word's top menu and work our way to the right. First, go to the File tab, click, and pull down to Page Setup. Click again, and now you'll see the Page Setup dialog options box. This box has three tabs, Margins, Paper, and Layout. Let's work our way through each of these. First, click on the Margins tab. In APA, you want one inch margins on all sides, top and bottom, left and right. If the numbers in those boxes say anything else, click in the box and change the number to one. It's not necessary to add the quote marks for inch. Word will do that for you. If for some reason your default unit of measurement is not inches but picas or centimeters, you can change it by going to the Tools menu, clicking on Options, and then the General tab. There below you will find your measurement unit selection box. Choose Inches in the drop-down menu, and that is what you want your APA documents measured in. Okay, continuing in our Page Setup box, let's make sure your gutter is set to zero. Gutter in Word refers to extra space on the side of a page where it is bound. Sometimes this is called trim space. Page orientation should be portrait, meaning the longest side of the page runs vertically. Landscape is what you might use for spreadsheets and such. Under Pages, you will determine how multiple pages will appear on your screen. You want Normal which also means one page at a time or single page view. Mirror margins are used for printing on both sides of a sheet. Two pages if you're saving paper. Use book fold if you're printing a booklet with a center fold. Now the last category is preview. Notice the pull down menu under apply to. This asks what part of the document you want to apply all of these settings to. And the answer is whole document. In other words, your entire document should have these margins and all the other settings. Now look down at the default button on the bottom left. If you're going to be using your Word program primarily for APA style academic papers, you can click on default and these settings will be saved and will appear every time you open a new Word document. Next, let's click on the Paper tab at the top of the dialog box for the next set of preferences. Your first preference is Paper Size. The default in your American version of Word should be Letter Size, so select it. Do not select any of the others unless you've been told to by your instructor. Letter size or standard paper is 8.5 by 11. If there are any other numbers in those two boxes, change them to width 8.5 and length 11. Next is paper source. This is a printer setting, so we don't have to worry about that right now. Just know that it's here. Again, 
Under Preview, you want to apply these settings to the whole document, not just a part of it. OK, time to click on the last tab, Layout. The Section Start setting is an important one for you. Since APA requires that you use the Page Break option to create new sections, you definitely want your Section Start to be set on New Page. So if that drop-down menu says anything else, change it to New Page. Headers and Footers. This is another important setting since APA requires that you use headers in a certain way. For APA, it is important that you do not, and I repeat, do not have a check mark in different odd and even or different first page. If there's a check mark in either of those two boxes, take it out. Next, from edge refers to the distance from the edge of the paper to your header footer. In APA, that distance should be set at half inch, or 0 0.5. Under Page, because you're using headers, your vertical alignment should be top, which refers to the top of the paper. Footers go at the bottom, and headers go at the top. Preview. Apply to. Once again, we are applying these settings to the entire document. And just a brief reminder, once again, if you click Default, you will save these settings for all future Word documents, and you will not have to go through this setup process again. Now, here we are back to the blank page. So let's go to the next menu in setting up our APA style paper, and that is the View menu. Click on View and drag down to Header and Footer click and release. Two boxes will appear. The first is a box formed by dashes, and this is where you will type in your header information. The second is a blue shaded box that you see me moving right now, and this is where we will make all of our settings. Now there are different methods for doing the following, and I'm going to show you just one way of doing it. First, in the box formed by the dashes, use the space bar to move your cursor all the way over to the right edge of the box, about one inch from the right edge. Next, type in the first two to three important words of your paper's title. Then, without doing anything else, tap the space bar exactly five times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, go down to the Preferences dialog box and look for the pound sign icon. Put your cursor on it and click one time. See, the page numbers for all of your pages are now inserted in sequence along with your abbreviated title as part of your page header. Next, position your cursor to the left of your title and use the backspace key or spacebar to adjust your new header so that it lines up at the far right edge of the header box. Go to the dialog box now and click Close. See, your header is now set and will appear on every page of your paper. Notice where your cursor is now. It is exactly one inch below the top edge of the paper and one inch from the left edge. This just happens to be the exact place where you will type in what APA calls the running head. The running head is your paper's abbreviated title again, same as in the header, but up to 50 characters including spaces. In counting those 50 characters, just make sure that you don't stop in the middle of a word. Simply delete that word if it brings you to 50 in the middle of it. Now notice that the word running is capitalized and that the word head is not. After head comes a colon and then hit the space bar one time. 
Type in your abbreviated title up to 50 characters, including spaces, but type it in in all caps. You can check the number of characters in your title with the Tools Word Count tool. Check characters. Now, use the Enter key to bring your cursor down to about the 3.5 inch mark as indicated by your vertical margin guide. The APA style book says only that your title should start in the upper half of your title page. OK, type in your title. And after your title is in, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to center the title. And we do this with the alignment tools in the formatting menu. Here you see me moving around that formatting menu. If you do not see your formatting menu, then that means you need to turn it on. And here's how. Go up to the View menu at the top. Click and pull down to Toolbars. When you do, you will see the full list of possible toolbars appear. Check to see if there is a check mark next to Formatting. If there isn't, then click on Formatting and that toolbar will appear. Now that we're sure that our formatting toolbar is on, let's go ahead and center our title with our cursor beside the main title that we've typed in at the 3.5 inch mark. We simply go up to the alignment tools. There's align left, align center, align right, and then fully justified left and right, which you never want to use in an APA document. You want to select center. Clicking on it one time will center the title automatically. Now, let's use the formatting toolbar to set double spacing. And remember, everything in your APA paper must be double spaced. And that includes the references on your last page. Now, there are several ways to set line spacing in Word. The first is with the line spacing tool on your formatting toolbar. Here it is. You see that you have these basic options. You want to select 2.0. The second way of setting double spacing is by clicking on More. This takes you to the Paragraph Formatting Preferences box. Here you can also click on Format, then Paragraph, then Indents and Spacing. However you get there, this is where you set line spacing. And while you're here, you can also set your left indentions for indenting the first line of a paragraph and for block quotations. Remember, indentions for paragraph first lines and for block quotes, and those are quotations in APA longer than 40 words, the indention is a half inch, 0 0.5. So go ahead and set that now. There will also be times when you want to use the Tab key to insert a paragraph indention. So click on the Tabs button at the bottom of the dialog box and set your default tab stop to a half inch as well, 0 0.5 or 0.5. With your cursor after the title you just typed in, all you have to do is hit enter once. The cursor should drop down two lines or double spacing. Now comes whatever information your teacher wants you to put in your name, the name of the course, the name of your school, the date. Remember, this information block should be customized according to your teacher's instructions. The APA style guide does not give guidelines for the title page for a paper written in school. After you have entered the last item of information in this area, hit enter again so that your cursor is on a line by itself. Now we're going to insert a page break so that our title page is set off by itself and will not change no matter what we do with spacing in the rest of the paper. First, go up to the Insert menu, click, and drag down to Break and click again. 
In the dialog box that appears, select Page Break by clicking inside the radio button. Then click OK. As you can see, the break is inserted and your cursor jumps to the next page. Let me show you what just happened. I'm going to go to the Tools menu, Options, and then under the View tab, select All. Now you can see all of the hidden formatting marks, including this page break right here. No matter what you do on the rest of your pages that follow, this title page is preserved. OK, let me turn off formatting marks by going to Tools, Options, and deselecting all so that we have a clean page to work with.